Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech, and a user reached out and said, Hey, can you make a Minecraft Creeper? I've got an idea, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so first things first, let's hit create new design. Remember, if you've never used Tinkercad, you can simply use sign in with Google and be ready to go. Let's change the name. I'm going to put Creeper up here and my initials. And then, friends, this would be really cool if I make a decent one, but you guys make an epic one and take time to share it with me. I'll show you how to share it when we get to the end of the video. The first thing I want you to do is bring out a cube. We're going to hold down Shift and shrink this a little. And then I want you to type the number 5 for how large the cube is. Let's pick a custom green. I'm going to go over here to the green area and I'm going to find my Minecraft Creeper color that I'm going to start with right there. Let's click on Fit View to zoom in and then we can do minus to back up a couple. And I want to grab this and put it right on one of these corners. So right now we've got the first piece of our Minecraft Creeper. Now we're going to use the nudge skill to make this kind of cool. So I want you to switch to a 5mm grid. And then real quickly, let me show you the skill. Control D, and if you do one click, the next piece is where you want, and you can immediately pick the second color you want. Now we're using many colors because check this out. This is my Minecraft creeper picture I'm building off. It has several different colors all the way up. Notice there's a lot of gray at the bottom. In the middle, there's less gray. And when you get to the top, the very face, very little gray. So the trick is to try and make ours turn out a lot like this. So notice real quickly, 4 by 8 by 8. So all we do is go back to our creeper. And I'm going to grab those two pieces and do Control D. And now when I tap that arrow key twice, we have just moved it across. If I use the sweet flip command, my colors change a little. I can also just customize them and find a different color. Remember there were some gray ones at this piece. So I'm going to get over in this color right here. And then I'm going to grab all of those and do control D. Once again, nudge the arrow keys. Four nudges and it moves over. And then I just want to make my colors a little different so that my creeper looks extra awesome. All right, friends, this is going to be the technique for the whole project. So here's another control D. If I do control up arrow, it raises it up. If I use flip, I can flip it this way. So all of a sudden it's two different rows and then just customize a couple of them to give it a little more variety. All right, friends, so we've got that row. Now let's just do control D. And if we nudge with the arrows back, you can see we've got a four by four. You should change the colors on the ends just so it looks a little different. You don't have to worry about the colors in the middle because those aren't going to show up. I'm going to make this end a little different, make this one a gray, make these a little different. And I could have used flip as well. But the more you adjust these, the cooler it looks when you're done. Now remember we needed 8x8, eight eight, so I'm going to do Control D. Control up arrow. I'm going to vertically flip these. So notice I hit flip in that. And then I'm also going to flip them this way. So that's a decent pattern. And I'm going to grab all of that and do control D. And now it's two arrow clicks to move it to the back. And then I'm going to flip this as well. And I'm going to flip it vertically. And I'm going to flip it this way. So it's really an exact flipped match, but you can then just go through and adjust them one at a time. And this is the part that I really want to challenge you with, is when you're done building yours, make it more epic than mine. And then send me a picture to show you how cool it turns out. Alrighty friends, now that we've got that whole front foot, simply grab it. Notice it says 128 shapes. That's going to be a handy thing to know. We're going to do Control D, and we're going to move back one, two, three, four, and then four more. One, two, three, four. Now we want to add the stacks that go up. We're going to grab that front one again and do control D and let's do control up and let's do four back. Now Tinkercad memorizes your nudges. So we don't want to go up and back for the next piece. We just want to go straight up. Let me show you how we're going to select just this one. Click on one of these blocks in the middle and do fit view. Make sure you click 
the right view or left if you're building from the other side. And then we simply want to grab all these bricks. So notice I'm just touching them. Notice it says 256. That means I stuck the landing and I'm going to hit hide. When I can see that I've only got those bricks, even if it takes two attempts to get it, then I'm going to select just this one. Once again, do control D and then control up one, two, three, four. Now, if we look back at our picture, we need 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So then all we have to do is do control D one more time and it memorized the height so we have all 12. Now we're gonna build the head. Let's do it like this. Once again, control D so it's up there on top. And then with that selected, just do two clicks to the back. Now we want to hide all these the same way we did the other. So I'm just going to grab the very bottom edge. This time I'm going to make sure it takes two attempts. So there's my first hide. And notice I almost got them all. So now I'm going to grab these. And there's my second hide. And then since I can grab all of this, I'm going to do Control D. And I'm going to move it out four clicks. And then I'm going to grab all of that head and do Control D. And we're going to do four clicks up with control up arrow. Friends, when you hit show all, you have just built your entire creeper body. Let's take a quick look at our creeper face in the picture. Notice it is four more gray dots with them in the center and they are two in, three down. So let's go back here. Two in, three down is this brick right here. Click on that single brick and because I switched to custom, it's real easy to get to these grays that make this work. I'm going to use fit view to zoom in, and then I'm going to back up just a couple clicks. And then I'm just going to do that same trick for the other four. So this one is the one that is most black. This one is a gray black. Let's get down in here a little bit. And this one is a gray black. And this is where I'm going to challenge you friends to make these way cooler than me. Uh, you've got the time and the energy. I've got other projects I'm working on. So I'm gonna just get this ish, and then you guys can make more epic ones. And then if you take time to share them with me, that would just be absolutely fantastic. So there are the eyeballs ish. Let's check the picture. So I've got gray, 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 black. And now I need in between those eyeballs, a couple greens, and then a black mouth area. Let's go back here. I'm going to make sure these two are greens. They were somewhere in that color. If you want to be real fancy, you can copy the exact color so that you've got it for each one. I'm not that worried about it. And then remember, all three of these, I'm going to shift click. Or four of these is a better number. They are the black. Let's double check and see if I did that right. Nope, it's two and then four. So I'm just going to go back and make these two a greenish. And now shift click to grab all four of those. And I can make them the darker, blacker color in one click. And then I'm going to just peek again. It's like he's got a little handlebar mustache. Let's put a couple of those in there as well. So some sort of gray green and some sort of gray green now once again friends you can go through here and modify all of these colors to make them more epic as you can see we have just created our own epic minecraft creeper in just a few minutes and mastered some sweet skills like nudging duplicating and arranging our shapes Friends, remember, if you want to share what you made, you can simply hit this little link right here. You can generate it, copy it, and you can ship it to me on any of the social media. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. And also, friends, if you visit hlmodtech.com, there is a Tinkercad page with a ton more lessons and a sweet 
messaging tool that lets you reach out to me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I do want to send a shout out to Bernardo. I think this was a ton of fun and those skills are pretty darn useful. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.